A very warm welcome to all from the Other Side series. I'm Raga Olga De Silva, or Totally Out Now, as you know me. I'm the co-founder and director of Speaking Minds, India's largest international speakers agency, representing speakers and content from all over the world. Well, I know you're waiting for me to bring him on, aren't you? So here we are. So you know this man, or so you think. Bhikkhu Matre, Sardar Khan, Dakoit Mansingh, Gobind Deshpande, Inspector Samar, Dr. Ramchandra Siras, recently Shrikant, Ganpat Bosley, and so on and on and on. So who is Manoj Pajpai? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome, Manoj. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, good, good, good. Just managing, managing the lockdown. Uh, managing all, uh, every moment, actually. I mean, uh, suddenly I've realized that, you know, coming back to Mumbai from the mountain, I have been so busy uh, uh, with uh, house chores and uh, uh, talking on the videos, giving interviews for, for Bhosle because, you know, it was, it was having its premiere. Then, um, you know, day to day, uh, you know, people's excitement and enthusiasm, you know, to have video interviews and video chatting. So, yeah, I mean, the, the days are full, uh, you know, and I, meanwhile, my, yeah, my, my daughter also and the little one, you know, she insists on on playing with me. And so, yeah, it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of a packed, you know, day every day. Do you find that we are busier now than we've ever been? Now we kind of uh, after three months, I have realized that people found uh, a way to carry on with their life uh, inside yeah. their four walls. Yeah, somehow they have uh, they have, they've gotten used to uh, staying at home and still you know working and still trying to be productive as much productive as possible sure which sure. is good yeah which yeah, is good sure. so what are the chores that you have you are assigned to i want to know oh <laughs> i mean uh i mean it 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 varies from you know uh from uh, putting clothes in the dr dryer or washing machine to taking <laughs> out uh sometime you know cleaning the temple a prayer room sometime uh wiping the dinner table or making uh, sometime I'm giving the job, given the job uh, to cook uh, when uh, Shavana, my wife, is not, you know, she does, if she doesn't feel like cooking, she, she gives me the job of cooking. So, yeah, I mean, she's the boss. She decides. <laughs> she, she decides the responsibility. Excellent. So, the audience who is watching, yeah. this is exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to find the other side of Manoj Pachbai. So, any questions you have? please feel free to respond to us or write to us on the on the comments and we will yeah. at some point ask Manoj for his response. Now, Manoj, I'm really, really intrigued by your life. I've seen, I think I'm one of those fans who's watched all your movies, have followed you right from 1994. Yeah. And, right. but who is Manoj Bajpai? Something that keeps ringing back into my ears. 1994, 2020. But I know that we've been reading stories from Humans of Bombay, for instance, came out with a story. So right. tell us about this little boy from Bihar. We're very intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a long story. I mean, I, I really don't know where to start from at all. I would say that, uh, you know, it's bizarre. If I tell uh, you the, the whole thing, you'll find uh, certain things quite, un, you know, unbelievable. Uh, I was, uh, we are six brothers and sisters, okay? And uh, we were born in a family which was struggling to uh, to make two ends meet because uh, we come from a very respected family. Uh, uh, the Bajpais are in that area. You know, they're they're quite respected, not because they have uh, uh, plenty of land, but because of uh, the because of the way they carried themselves, because of the way they uh, they kind of. Uh, behaved in the society you know they are they're very respected but uh, as after my birth uh, uh, what i gather that uh, you know division of land happened in such a way that my father in, in on my father's side my father got very little of it you know because that's what was you know this is what he was left with and and uh, he had six children to feed to to uh, 
to to bring up to educate uh, but he was a very ambitious man uh, he wanted to become a doctor and he couldn't because uh, my grandfather couldn't afford five lakhs rupees those days and five lakhs rupees quite a lot you know yeah. there was there was a medical college where he was too you know he was shot by two two marks and the medical college was asking for five lakhs rupees in miscellaneous uh, my grandfather couldn't afford it so that with that pain uh, my my father lived all his life so somewhere you know he wanted to see all of us getting educated and uh, be on our own so he's a very gentle man is a is a very soft spoken person my father and my mother ruled the family she was she's always been the boss we if even at this age if i'm scared of anybody more than my wife is my mother you know <laughs> so, <laughs> powerful so, women <laughs> yeah i am sure. ruled by i'm yeah, sure. I'm ruled You've been by, by strong yeah, women yeah, yeah. yeah strong men very strong yeah. you know she yeah. she kind of she taught us to, she taught us to fight back and not take things lying down and she taught us never to lose uh, never to lose heart never to accept defeat rather go on trying so you know she's always been very very, very tough if you meet her today uh, she's uh, in her own language in her own uh, you know demeanor she would always uh, you no know, answer you back if she doesn't agree she will never pretend you know this is the kind of yeah she's the she's that kind of a woman so yeah um, and when i was born my father he always believed in astrology you know i i'm going to tell you a very interesting uh, sure. trivia so uh, he after every child's birth uh, you know he used to give 5 rupees to the nurse just to tell him uh the right time so he was fascinated by astrology he was uh, uh, you know always consulting astrologer so with my birth he he with that birth time he went to the uh, uh, astrologer biggest astrologer of that small town where this hospital was and after a few days he went back to him when he was ready with his uh, study and his and you know he said this is what my father tells me and he told him that there is a bad news about his son and my father was scared because he lost a son just 10 days after the birth just before me oh. you know so he was very scared so he asked him uh, what is the bad news will he survive hmm. so he said no no he will survive but he may become an actor you know <laughs> 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 so that was a bad news <laughs> okay oh, there, how did your father react yeah so that there is and, and there is a possibility that you know he may become a politician too but you know the the becoming actor is quite a big possibility so my father was very scared because in our uh, in those days in our village in our society actors i mean people used to my father and mother they were complete they were fan of hindi films you know they used to okay. whenever they whenever they used to go to the uh, uh, small town they used to you know watch films they used to take us to watch films we were all part of you know the film viewing experience it was it never happened that they left us alone and went went for the movie uh but the profession itself was never you know considered a respect respectable one okay so he was very scared throughout and when i was 14 years old and at the age of 9 i have decided that i'll become an actor but i never told him since the society's uh, perception about actors was so uh, not good that i never could dare to you know open my heart out then my father you know just in a chit chat in his own usual uh, you know he was great conversationist my father so he always treated us like his friends so we used to gather and he used to tell us the stories and you know one of the stories he was about this astrologer and he was telling this story and in my heart i was smiling that oh okay okay <laughs> so 
you know, whatever I'm thinking about myself is going to be true, you know. So I was not telling him anything. I was not telling him what was there in my heart, what I have decided to become. But uh, he was only confirming what was brewing in my heart. Okay. Yeah. So it was. So uh, this is an interesting thing that has happened in my life. But I have never kind of uh, told anybody. I used to participate in my school's uh, extracurricular activities. There was no theater in the boarding uh, wherever the boarding school was. It was a very respectable boarding school, Hindi medium though. But uh, that Catholic school had all the facilities that any uh, great boarding school should have uh, or has in this country. Uh, so uh, we had four, you know, soccer uh, field. So you can imagine the, wow, the, the 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 campus. Yeah, it was a huge campus. So yeah, I mean that's the that's the uh, and he kind of put all of us in in boarding. My sisters too. There was a boarding school for 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 the girls also in the same same city, uh, and that that too was a Catholic school, uh, Saint Teresa. Uh, so he kind of used to borrow money from the village from somebody and you know send send us the money through money order uh, those days we used to write letters to our parents about our uh, life in the boarding school there were too many exchanges of letters and sadly i don't have any with me uh, i always you know kind of regret about it but uh, I have only one letter uh, which I have written, uh, uh, which I have got, you know, received from him. And one letter I have uh, that uh, I wrote it to him. And that actually tells me at this point of time in what condition we were in, where we were completely, you know, uh, tattered in terms of finances and how uh, we were managing. So, yeah, so that's, that's the kind of... Uh, childhood but yes apart from all this this uh, struggle there is a beautiful side to my childhood and my village is one of the best uh, one of the most beautiful landscape that i have ever been to in this country uh, and i feel blessed to have born in, mm -hmm. in that kind of a place yeah you know, from in the morning, in the winter, you can see, we could see the Himalayas peak. Oh. You know, I know where the sun is reflecting from the Himalayas. You know, coming towards you, um, and you, we could, and there was a jungle. Now that jungle is converted into tiger reserve. Uh, the one one side there's a canal, on the other side there's a there's a river. Uh, so, and green field everywhere. Uh, farmers, farmers' life. Uh, so. He, uh, the 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 village life, the boarding school life, uh, I think all of this uh, is Manoj Bajpay. You know, yeah, I'm to sure there's, to, yeah. Yeah. there's much more coming, right? But you know, what I gather from you, though, although you were put in a boarding school, your father was ambitious for you, you were still very close as a family because communication is important, right? Because you know, we these were days, very, yeah. we were c communicating on every level. Yeah, actually. So that, that, it, it was, yeah, it was only because of our father. He was yeah. very open with the children. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, and and I know that you know the 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 track that I have followed and I followed you for a long time. Like I said, nineteen ninety four is a long time for all of us. Right, right. And I I know that you know just looking at you, I know that you would have had a strong women influence. And now I understand yeah. when you talked about your mother. You know, you right, always right. feel that. You know, so I think that is the energy and the inspiration that one you have got through your life. Because of right. course, what we also know, the Manoj Bajpayee, who has been very successful, but you've also seen a lot before you started, you know, before you got the roles. And also when you became successful, you went through a time where you were, uh, you, you had disappointments, let's say. So right. that's the strength that you got, I'm assuming, from your family. So tell us about that time, Manoj. We're very interested in knowing what did Manoj go through before 1994 happened to him, before Satya yeah. happened to him? Oh, oh there, there's a, there are too many years before that, actually. Okay. Uh, I, uh, there was a friend of mine in, in my school and he was uh, one of my best friends. And he was, uh, and I was contemplating as to how to leave my village, how to uh, leave the city and, you know, just go to Delhi, uh, for some excuse, something, you know, uh, 
and I was not getting that, uh, uh, getting that excuse to leave uh, my place. I completely helpless because you know I didn't have any money. My father didn't have any money, <clears throat> so and I, 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 he wanted me to become a doctor. He sent me to appear in all the medical entrance exam. Um, I, I was scared of giving the right answer because I, I thought that if I give the right answer, I, I may get selected and you know, <laughs> everything. <will be. laughs> the first no, person no. in history. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, so even if I knew the answer, you know, I always filled up the wrong. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but this guy, this friend of mine, he said he once he kind of shared with me that he's living for Delhi because uh, in Delhi, you no, know, see his brother, his elder brother is studying, and now he's going to fill up all the forms for all the colleges and whichever college he gets in, he will, you know, finish his graduation from there. And I requested him, you know, I went to him three, four times. I said, please take me, please take me. Uh, you know, I'll never forget uh, this uh, favor from you. And then he agreed. Uh, in those days, uh, even today, if you, if, you, if you are traveling that distance by train, then you have to have reservation. I didn't have any reservation, okay? So we were, you know, 17 and a half, 18 years old that time. And he somehow gathered the courage and he said, you know, you just come along. We'll manage it in the train. And he had he had the berth reserved for himself. And I was the one who was without a reservation. I was I had one simple ticket to Delhi. And I convinced my father that I'm going to Delhi. And I'm uh, I think more than doctor, if I appear for UPSC exams, I may become a bureaucrat, I may become a district magistrate or superintendent of police or whatever, you know, but I'll, I'll prepare for those kind of interest exam more than, you know, those competitive competition rather than, you know, just going for doc, you know, becoming a doctor, which where my heart is not there. So he can, he's such a pleasant man. He just gave up his dream for my wish. You know, he said, you know, you can go, but I don't have money, Manoj. So you'll have to manage it on your own. I said, okay, okay, we'll see. Whenever you have money, you just send me. You don't have money, don't send me. I'll take care of myself. And I took the train with this boy. So throughout the journey, I was uh, running fever. 101. I still remember it was a terrible, terrible journey. Oh. And throughout the travel, uh, uh, all night, I was going from one compartment to another because the Ticket collector was coming, yeah, coming, you know. <laughs> so if he was uh, entering my compartment, I was going into another compartment, then another compartment. And by that time, one halt used to come. I used to get down and again get into the the back, uh, the, the, back. The, 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 the last compartment. And that's, that's how I tried to dodge the ticket collector mm -hmm. all night. And I was running 101 fever, wow. okay? It was a terrible, terrible journey. I can't forget. I can never forget that journey. And uh, early morning, you know, it becomes free for all. Uh, then the reservation doesn't matter. And that time I came uh, to my friend and he vacated his worth and he said, you sleep here. I'll give you money, uh, water and you just go up to sleep. And he tried to find a medicine for me. And then he he organized a medicine, gave me a tablet. He said, we have it and just go up to sleep. Yeah. So by the time we entered Delhi, the train entered Delhi, it stopped at a bridge. And I could see Delhi for the first time. I saw such a huge yeah. metro in my life. Yeah. And I was completely, you know, enamored uh, wow. looking at the city. I, re I remember everything very clearly, uh, Raga, very clearly. As if it was a picture that I have seen that I can never forget. And I was looking at the hoarding, which was there on uh, on that crossroad. It's called ITO, ITO Bridge. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at those hoarding, and I, I was talking to my, I was thinking that one day my hoarding will be there when wow. I become a become an actor. So, you know, so that was 18 years of age. The passion, the energy, the hope, the dream, the conviction. The belief. It was, the belief. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that boy had lot of belief, lot of belief 
lot of stubbornness mm-hmm. which came came to him from his mother you know uh the soft side i think came from my father but there is there is an ag- aggressive side to manoj bajpay and a stubborn manoj bajpay i think it has really taken care of me that side that mother side of me has it has really saved me from uh, from really uh, succumbing to all the the vulnerable situation yeah and then delhi university filling up the forms uh, getting admission but as soon as i got admission i saw this uh, small group of people doing street th- uh, play yeah. in, uh, in 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 D- delhi university campus straight away i went up to them without wasting any day i went up to them and i said that you know i want to be part of your group how is that possible and they immediately taken me you know immediately i was a member of it and then i started traveling with them i didn't waste story? even a what day you know manoj uh, what a story what a story is giving me goosebumps yeah. no what a story because, <laughs> because you yeah. know in, in a, it's such a learning right because we all have dreams but very few follow through on their dreams and passion and this what you're right. sharing is like a complete belief in yourself ek din mai wo coding pe rahunga you know so right. that right. you've already right. visualized because we tell our children right that visualize something that you want to be and that will happen but you persevere you persevere yeah. so i want to understand because i know that you know you've shared things like that you really struggled because you know an 18 right. year old boy coming from right. a village then going into right. delhi delhi is not a cheap city it's expensive no, you didn't have no, uh, financial yeah. backing you funded right. yourself and i know i read somewhere that you even for your vada pav at times used to be expensive now yeah, I mean, here in bombay yeah in, in bombay, bombay in bombay yeah, right yeah, so yeah yeah what is it in you manoj that makes you this person what is it apart from <laughs> your mother and your father and what is that uh, is it something you follow is it a self discipline that you follow What oh, is it? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Self discipline is something that I have never com- compromised on. Uh at times uh, you know self discipline is is at such a higher level that uh, you know even my le- little one 9 year old you know she even she rules me you know she starts complaining I, you will go to exercise you will do your yoga you will do your meditation but you will not play with me you know so <laughs> Have, yoga I, you meditation know, I, I, exercise I, I, yeah so you are uh, sometimes i tell her that you know i'm reading my script this is my time hour please don't disturb me you you will always read your script but you will not play with me you know so uh, so this i'm this there is there i live on priority you know what is the priority i prioritize my my time and, and then and then i i do, somehow don't compromise on my priority if i am talking to you this is my priority at this point of time and and if i am playing with my daughter that's my that's the that's that's the priority at that point of time so i will not receive any call so i think it's the is the priority that i have made in my earlier life i have decided about my priorities and i stuck to it uh with my discipline with my uh perseverance as you call it with my stubbornness uh there's a there's a good side of stubbornness and there's a bad side of stubbornness but you you if this if somebody is stubborn at times they will they will look illogical uh unwise but when the same as stubbornness is applied uh, to their profession to their conviction the result is always you know quite great so the person who is stubborn he doesn't know how to differentiate between a good stubbornness and bad stubbornness he he's just stubborn okay yeah so i yeah. think i have just been stubborn about about things well it's worked for you right what you're also saying to me is two other things that i'm learning apart from being a good stubborn and bad stubborn is your focus right. you know uh, right. mindfulness jo kehte hain you know we are so right. because i think in our current lives all of us are uh, capable of it where we are victims of it let's say right. we are not right. mindful jab hum aapke sath baat kar rahe hote ho sakta hai ki we also doing other things but right. you know what you're telling me is where you're saying when you're with your daughter you're fully with your daughter when you're here with yeah. us you're fully with right. us and i think a lot of us right. need to remember that and practice right. that see your achievements 
hai na your achievement looks right. like it's an achievement successful hai but it hasn't come without all the things that you have been through without all your right. own belief system your stubbornness right. absolute belief in yourself the passion that you have followed i think this is all a combination right, right. So, uh, i mean also i feel that you know uh, the uh, for me for me to become an actor is it's never been a a, a glamorous search for me a search for glamour you know it was uh, it was an absolute love for the craft i if you ask me what do i enjoy the most in my life i would say when i'm working on the character i just ab- absolutely love it you know i'm uh, i have gone into spiritualism i read quite a lot uh, on sp- spiritual aspect of life i am i am so much into my yoga and meditation and so many other things but when it comes to acting everything everything seems second to me you know it's uh, when there is a character to prepare you know everything everything starts blurring everything starts blurring when when uh, you know there's a when there's a there's a role to be played when there's a, a preparation to be done for a for a role and when i'm acting in front of the cam- camera when i'm on the set even my wife says uh, but she doesn't come on my set not not because she will disturb me but she has come to my set so many times uh, in our initial days of uh, dating and she realized that i am not the same person on the set very good i am not capable enough to yeah i'm not i'm okay. not capable enough to ent- entertain okay uh so she realized that you know that's not the the area uh, where manoj will recognize anybody oh. even me so it's better not to go there okay excellent so and it happens unknowingly believe me uh anybody who's coming to me meet me or uh, on the location is not getting 100% from me sure they are not even 50% i would say sure so some uh, the mumbai in mumbai people insists on meeting people meeting uh, uh, some of us on on the set or on location but with me what happens that i'm not fully there with them you know i'm never fully there with them but the so that is the kind of uh, you know happiness or or the or the love that i have for the work that i do amazing so that brings to my next question about manoj bachpai so do you become that character or the character becomes you and who do you take home i don't take anybody home actually uh, uh and it it i practiced it it's not it didn't happen in one day i used to get the character home i used to be uh, uh the character uh, all the time you know once in a very uh, funny way you know my wife commented that you know i'm getting to live with different different men you know <laughs> <laughs> so i'm so i i'm so lucky you know so but uh, uh, those were the days when you know the i i used to be the character i used to be uh, the character and i used to interact with my wife my family in in, in the same way but uh, with few instances that has happened where i realized that i have to change i you know my method and my approach and also it was uh, at the on the advice of uh, a psychiatrist friend of mine he said that you know you have to change it because uh, it's somehow taking toll on your you know uh, mental health so i had i changed it i changed it okay. but it needed practice i practiced i practiced the something that you have learned through all throughout your theater days and now you have to you know snap out of it and it doesn't happen like that it something that you worked on something your body is completely used to and your mind used to it so i slowly slowly started working on a different kind of method different kind of approach towards my work and towards my preparation it's uh, it has been quite great till now believe me i have done much more difficult work uh, after that but now i don't get them home uh, sometime sure. i'm just sometime after giving a shot i'm very happy coming home i'm quite jumpy you know i just help 
in everything. I'm excited. So she comes to know that yeah, uh, day was really good. Mm -hmm. He's he's really happy with his job. You know, so sure. that way, yeah. But you're you're telling me basically what you have learned is you can love something, your craft. You can love someone, and you can still be healthily detached, right? Detached. Huh? Detached with it. But that's yeah. very yeah. important, right? That's because that's something yeah. again we, as people, human beings, don't understand. You know, we get so obsessed oh, yeah. and we get so passionate about yeah. things. So, what happens to those characters? So, I know that you've been through many characters, and do they live in you, or like, are you able to totally detach? Do they some inside of you? you? Know, a, uh, see, I mean, uh, we have to understand that the characters that you are playing, uh, are, you are giving them flesh and blood. You know, you are giving them a form of, of uh, you know, flesh and blood. You are, you are living their mind. It's it's not about you know doing it externally. You are actually playing them internally. You are actually living them. You are. So it's not a not only a make believe. It's it's actually being the character. So there are traces of uh, the characters which are which are somewhere left in the somewhere in your brain somewhere in your body uh and i think you know i i keep thinking about it. i think it also makes one uh either very moody or very spiritual that's why i think that's why you know i started getting attracted to the spiritual aspect of life and i enjoy it quite a lot after meditation i think is med meditation has done wonders with me the, all the moodiness all the eccentricity all the angst everything got so channelized uh, and i think it's so important for all the actors and all the creative people to really meditate to really align oneself at least you know once a day is very very important for your own well-being for your own mental health this this is not, this is like really powerful what you're saying you know you know I, and I'm the way you're communicating also today Manoj is right. like right. very special because I also I'm coming back to something completely different and I read somewhere Hindi and English you languages you had you had to learn because you grew up uh, you know speaking Bhojpuri so, how did yeah, you manage that yeah so Bhojpuri was our prime you know primary language. Even our teachers in our schools, you know, uh, whoever was teaching English or Hindi, uh, they they were teaching us. But at the same time, they were communicating with us in in Bhojpuri. Okay, so Hindi is a very difficult language when it comes to writing. It's then you know, like English, you know. So uh, when you are you are do, you are uh, attending your English class or or in English literature class or Hindi literature class the spellings the diction you know all of this uh, are so so important also the forming of the sentence english was something that we were very scared of english was not ex you know existent in our in our society at all uh, the entire society was scared of english uh, it was not something that uh, we were used to there was only one class of english and that's all and that too was taught to us by one uh, father from Kerala, I still remember his uh, father, Tony, I think. Uh, uh, but he used to communicate with us in Hindi and he used to teach us uh, in his broken Hindi, he used to talk to us and he used to teach us English. And Hindi was taught to us in a similar way. So our primary language was Bhojpuri. Our uh, pronunciation was not good. Our, our uh, writing ability was not that great. Uh, in Hindi. When I came to uh, Delhi and started doing theater, the teachers and the directors, they and the, all the all this all the uh, actors, they started teaching me. They started correcting me whenever I was, uh, you know, I was trying to speak Hindi. They, were, they either they were laughing at me or they were correcting me. Then I realized that you know I I I have a long way to go. Uh, I don't know English at all. Uh, I don't know how to read Times of India here. Uh, I, if I read three lines, I everything goes, you know, uh, 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 goes for a toss. So I started working on my English. I started working on my Hindi and and little bit of Urdu. And some way I realized that you know I can't do theater. And theater is a very challenging medium for actors. If you're not good, 
you will not get roles. It's not like films that, you know, if your film becomes becomes a hit, uh, you start getting roles. No, in, in theater, you really have to be good. You, you bear, it's, it's like, you know, a sports theater. Either you are good or you are not good. So uh, mm -hmm. in theater, you have to be very disciplined. It demands a lot of a discipline from actors. So I worked quite a lot and it was an ongoing work on my Hindi, on my English. So I have realized one thing in my college that all the students, you know, uh, from from my state or from other states, they, were, they used to speak to me in Hindi, knowing that this guy doesn't know English. Okay, so they used to make me comfortable. They used to make me comfortable uh, by talking to me or speaking to me in Hindi, and that was not actually doing me any uh, justice, any yeah. help, uh, justice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I had to learn English. So in my college itself, I made friends with the students from Kenya and Tanzania and you know <laughs> from these places. Those students. I made friends with them so that, you know, they, they were not judging me. I was not judging them, but there was the English was the only language that we could communicate in. Okay. Sure. There was a pres pressure of speaking English and communicating in English. So that, you know, really, you know, opened me up. It really taught me quite a lot for a year. Uh, you know, whenever you're going to the college, I'm looking for that friend from Kenya or Tanzania, I'm hanging out with them and, and going to do my rehearsal, learning Hindi there and Urdu there Amazing. Uh, and learning craft. Yeah. So my nine, eight, nine years or 10 years of Delhi, uh, I was learning, you know, nine years of learning. Uh, it was, uh, it never stopped. Okay, we want to uh, sorry, I'm going to interrupt. I want to hear you say the next few uh, things in Bhojpuri. Bhojpuri, Mary, Abhi, Agamabni Masa, Abhi Bath, Kurunga, the Bhojpuri, Mamma, family language. Just say a few. I mean, I have heard Bhojpuri. I've even seen Bhojpuri films, by the way, just so you know. Or and just so you know, when I didn't know English until I was 15 years old, although oh, I was in wow. school, so I have also taught you. Okay. So please, you say Bhojpuri. Say whatever you want to say next. I'd love to listen to you. We don't say anything. We don't say anything, but we don't say anything. We don't say anything, but we don't say anything. We don't say anything, but we don't say anything. We don't say anything, but we don't say anything. We don't say anything, but we don't say anything. 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 Uh, we talk very fast, yeah. Wow. So you can, so you can imagine, you know, that that's our language. You know, really? there I don't have to think. I, you know, if if I'm, मैं अगर आपसे हिंदी में बात करूँ तो मैं form करता हूँ. हाँ. मैं form करता हूँ. Sentence form करता हूँ मैं. भोजपुरी में form नहीं करना पड़ता. हाँ, तो आप तो भोजपुरी में सोचते हो ना? इस आपके cell में. सोचता हूँ. हाँ, तो ये बस cell में. Yeah, no understood. Wow, oh, yeah. what a treat. What yeah. is your preferred language is Bhojpuri. Hindi means that you speak English, you speak really fluently, by the way. I must uh, uh, yeah, compliment uh, you on thank, that. Thank, no. thank you very much. Uh, uh, I, I keep learning. I, 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 I don't know. Learning has never stopped. Uh, learning is something. I still have a dictionary. Uh, and when I'm reading something, I keep consulting the dictionary. So yeah, learning, vocabulary, uh, hmm. I'm quite fascinated with. Uh, uh, so, uh, it, but it, I, I keep, you know, uh, giving reference to my daughter. She she keeps laughing sometimes. Papa, why you, I mean, you, this word is not spoken that way. This word is spoken this way, okay? So, I, I know, the, but the, I have many teachers to correct me. <laughs> and you're a good student. You listen. That I'm is a very important. good student. So, what's the rule? Yeah. Yeah, you can have best teachers. If you don't have to do it, we will hear We want to hear more of your Bhojpuri. But in the meantime, I've been noticing that there's hundreds of comments. 
you know i've had oh many God. people on our show and some really prominent people as well most of them are prominent and very prominent okay hamara to ye to matlab pata nahi kya ho raha hai log pagal ho rahe hain that's the word i can use especially okay. after you spoke bhojpuri to hum <laughs> see, see i mean this is a this is a big thing for me and i know jaise it is because i'm from mangalore i'm konkani main okay. india mein i spent a lot of time in india I left india many years ago but i keep coming back and forth but i noticed and i spoke this to ila arun ji who you know you know ila arun right the folk singer and i actor. know i know ila ji ila yeah. ji ila ji was on my show and we talked about grassroots ki hum kaise bhul jate hain hum jab bahar jate hain to ya to hum bahut zyada apnate hain usko but we forget we forget to stay connected to our roots so for some reason hum hindustan mein india mein we are actually embarrassed to say ki humko hindi aati hai hum a lot of people say to me No, no, I can't speak Hindi. I prefer English, and I'm the opposite. I love speaking in Hindi. So, what you are saying to me is that you're so connected to your root, and that you think in that language even now. To me, that's a huge thing. So, thank you for sharing that. You know, with with all of us. You know, that's 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 my identity. You know, yeah. uh, and this is what makes me. You know, I think all the characters that I do, I, uh, uh, you know, they come to they. Uh, you know somehow i relate to them also because you know uh, i understand the my own identity i am so proud of it and through my identity i relate to each and every character that i play and you know their socio political and economical uh, situation i understand it uh, through my own culture through my own uh, being from from that place so uh, uh, and also i i somehow you know since my childhood i have realized one thing that uh, if you are not connected with your roots you can't be a good actor mm-hmm. yeah you know to understand the characters and soul of the character to understand any character from any state from any village from any part of this world you really have to understand the 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 rootedness of the character the soul of the character you know and that you can only understand through yourself it's impossible to 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 go to uh, to go and do research on thousands of people you can only do research on yourself mm-hmm. all the time and through yourself you understand everyone and if you are you're saying that if you are connected with your rootedness connected, you, yes so that really is the most powerful yeah. tool you have right yeah. Yeah, 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 and and also feel that uh, you know each one of us uh, are very unique. Each one of us is very unique, very very unique. We should realize this. Everyone who is who is you know taking birth on this planet is not taking birth just like that, you know, without uh, you know any purpose. You have that unique uniqueness in you, and that's why you are here to. to with with some purpose and we have to find that purpose we have to find that uniqueness within ourselves and be be proud of it yes be extremely proud of it not be arrogant about it not yeah. be uh, you know but proud of it proud of mm-hmm. it just be comfortable uh, with the identity that you have it's a tough answer i think you'll have to give now so do you think that would manoj bajpai be the same person if he had not made it okay uh this is a very hypothetical question hypothetical it's not a, yeah it's not a it's not a tough question it's a hypothetical question but you know to answer you uh, uh to do justice to your question i would say that had i had you know god decided not to give me the idea of acting i would have stayed back as the eldest son of the family Uh, a responsible eldest son uh, who had to take care of all the siblings and make sure that each and every one finds their goals and finds their calling and and you know settle them okay mm. and i th- i think i would have done it brilliantly because i always felt very responsible about my my siblings always till now i feel very responsible you know for them till now when all of them have are grown up they have their own jobs and businesses 
till now i feel concerned about them till now uh, i think that element god would have given to me definitely had i been an actor or not an actor you know the element of uh, of you know a, what do you call it, feeling concerned about my family uh, i think that would have been there i would have been a happy man you know seeing my brothers and sister happily married and happily settled down i, I would have been a happy happy uh, eldest brother so basically you're a happy person that's what you're saying that you are mostly a- Ha uh, mostly mostly Achha. yeah mostly yeah I mean, you're not happy yeah. but what makes you were, not happy anna uh, yeah what makes me not happy there are too many things actually uh uh i'm not talking about you know now when i'm much more uh, what do you call corrected by meditation and all that uh what doesn't make me happy when i see uh, on the set when i see the uh, noise when i'm rehearsing mm. you know when i see uh, when i um, give a lot of time to others uh, to to set up and prepare but when i'm rehearsing nobody is caring about the silence no that makes me very angry that makes me really unhappy that you know please uh, i i want that space second uh, uh, what makes me unhappy is uh, uh, when people unknown numbers coming to you know or coming on my phone <laughs> and those num- those numbers are not there on my phone and the other person who is calling me he or she knows that you know my number is not with manoj at least i should have this courtesy of sending him the message because that's why he is not uh, picking up the phone i i feel unhappy i feel i feel that you know they are being insensitive they should send me the message and then let me get back to them you know the, the small small thing i see my daughter not concentrating uh, not giving much enough time to hindi i feel unhappy you know Th- these are little things uh, that you can say um, i i feel unhappy or sad when my wife or my daughter when they are not feeling good, well you know i i really feel unhappy and i feel really feel sad i i panic sometime you know they are my lifeline so uh, yeah i mean these are the things i mean not a big thing i mean all, all the big big uh, uh big all the big things which used to make me feel unhappy is all taken care of all sorted out you know i i found my answers uh, sure so i have so, come to Man- terms with them Man- uh, Man- yeah. professional man is a family man professionally the conversations that you're having with me are quite similar we are also get unhappy about the same things that you know similar things that you get yeah. unhappy about yeah. right our craft is yeah. important to us our job is important to us and then we will get yeah. someone to disturb us and distract us and that makes us unhappy right. that makes us very right. uh, it's anything distracting is not a happy place you're saying right. that your your family your child or your wife not being unwell is making you unhappy it's such a you know the reason i'm asking you all this manoj is because you know there is this we see you as an extraordinary person because of the right. life you have led the success is the characters you play i think people forget that behind all that is a man who is a regular man <laughs> completely regular no no but hum bhool jate hain na hum bhool jate hain but you are, you are so regular really you are so amazing in your conversation i we got over 3000 comments i'm sorry so I'm, obviously we don't have <laughs> all night no it's all right yeah uh, but sorry i mean that's but mostly people are they are your fans who are very happy to be here we got people from pakistan from brazil from of course from london from kolkata yeah. assam bihar everywhere around the world manoj that oh, is oh. that is a huge thing for all of us we've got i to them <laughs> yes hello manoj ek aap hindi mein boliye please aapne bhojpuri boli humko hindi mein boli Uh, from english uh, hello to everyone and, and thank you very much for the response aur bahut acha lag raha hai ki aap log itne acche dhang se aap hamari baat sun rahe hain aur apna apni apni pratikriya de rahe hain aur humra bada acha laga tha ki apne logon ne aile bani hamar baat chit dekha tha nahi apne ek scoop batiyao tha nahi ja unhe ki inka sang raga ke sang batiyao tha ja ab main logon suta sunata nahi okra par apne logon apun jon bhi baat bante apne ko hote nahi hamara bada hum chahta nahi ki apne ko suni जोन भी बात होता ओकरा के अगर तो ओकरा में अपने के कोनो बात अच्छा ना लगे वो लिख दी सो बेसिकली यू आर सेइंग दैट इफ यू डोंट लाइक समथिंग दैट आई एम सेइंग यू राइट अबाउट इट है ना ये बोल रहा 
सो देखो नॉर्मली पीपल से कि जो अच्छी बात लगे वो लिखो जो अच्छी yeah, लगे वो <laughs> लिख दो सुपर एंड वी हैव अ फ्रेंड ऑफ कोर्स अ कॉमन फ्रेंड चित्रा सुब्रमण्यम हु इज मेड दिस हैपन शी इज वाचिंग एंड शी इज सेइंग शी लव्स द आइडिया ऑफ रूटेडनेस एंड यू नो हाउ दैट वर्क्स इन आवर ओन लाइफ्स एंड योर कैरेक्टर्स तो सॉरी फ्रेंड्स आई नो देयर आर लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ कमेंट्स बट आई कांट टेक द कमेंट्स इंडिविजुअली बट थैंक यू ऑल एंड आई विल सिफ्ट थ्रू इट and nikola who is watching in the background nikola there are one or two comments that you want us to comment on can you put it on the private chat so i can take it up because i have a question to ask uh, manoj in the meantime how yeah. do you manage the disappointments in your life you know we talk yeah. about depression quite a bit these days right and all of us are in lockdown we, there's a lot of uncertainty around us we don't know what's happening so that uncertainty for some people has happened much 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 before lockdown anyway some people live in an uncertain world then uncertainty during lockdown is even far more stronger so aap kaise deal karte ho disappointment ko? i'll uh, aap aapko main main instances de karke batata hu i think uh, uh, then i'll be much more clearer if i talk sure. about those you know those uh, you know particular days particular incidents uh, which really kind of uh, broken me or made me feel that you know uh, and there is no road ahead after this uh, so it was uh, it was in my third year a uh, th- second year i decided to you know uh, give all my exams in english it was nothing but a uh, pressurize myself to learn english okay i didn't want to score i didn't want to score in in my graduation i didn't want to score i just wanted to learn english that the uh, so i didn't go I, there was an option of uh, choosing your own language hindi but i said no i will i'm here i have a very clear cut purpose so i will you know i'll choose to appear in exam or give my exam only in english and suddenly you know 3 days before the exam it all blacked out everything that i have prepared you know i suddenly realized that i remember nothing and it was a blackout situation for me and my roommates got scared they got really scared uh they uh, they they started taking me out for a walk they started talking to me they started telling me that it doesn't matter manoj just calm down manoj everything is because they were so scared that he's uh, he's losing it he's losing it everything is you know blacked out for him uh so they took me to uh, to a shop to uh, to buy me a cold drink because i didn't have any money to buy you know to treat myself with, with that kind of a luxury so they they were buying me a uh, cold drink then somebody has uh, gotten chicken they started cooking chicken then somebody has uh, you know organized a bottle of rum you know let's have rum you know manoj just don't worry so they worked on me that was the moment i realized that uh, uh, everything for me felt that you know is gone you know i'm going to stay in this year uh, i'm you know again I, they, they are, i'm not going to pass uh, they are going to you know hold me back in the in, in second year itself and i was desperate to get out of college and do full fledged theater so that was one moment i came out of it after two days uh, because they they took me to a doctor and doctor has given me a campo you know campos injection he made me sleep for a very long time and then when i got up everything was fantastic uh but the most difficult one was uh, when you know the first attempt when i made for national school of drama because for 3 years i prepared in my graduation years i prepared for national school of drama you know uh, entrance uh, and when my name didn't appear on the list i didn't have the plan b and i didn't have i didn't know what to do after that where to go uh, what how to do theater you know uh, out, of, out of my college it's only the street theater which was there and which, which was not going to take me anywhere it was not going to make me a professional uh, theater actor so i didn't have a plan b and 
that one month raga was terrible 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 you know uh, all my friends they really took care of me they wow. took okay i think manoj has got logged off he's going to yeah he's he's back tech problem you on mute manoj you have to uh, unmute ha huh? now now So yeah, one yeah. month you went through so something like that. that is... Yes, and uh, that one month, you know, I still remember my. Uh, it was kind of a nervous breakdown, kind of a situation for me. Uh, and every day, again, my friends, you know, they were they were preparing for their UPSC exams, and they were making sure that you know uh, they are with me. Uh, i will always be very very grateful to them all of them are doing so well they have become such big guys in their respective fields and uh, they really really helped me they they used to buy me food they used to buy me clothes they used to take me around in the park just talk to me and talk to me about all the good things that they have seen in me so that one month and then they they gave me money one day one of my friends you know he said uh, no he, uh, he he said why don't you do one thing why don't you go to national school of drama and try to find out uh, which are the groups which are uh, uh, you know active outside and you know try to contact them and be you know be be active be start doing something outside and then next year again you can appear for national school of drama there's nothing lost so don't think about it. so i on their insistence i went to national school of drama uh, and there i found out that uh, this very uh, big successful group of that time a theater group and all of them most of the members were uh, national school of drama alumni uh, they formed this group they were coming up with one year workshop course okay and uh, and some one one of the students told me that you know it is going to be so amazing that you know all the national school of drama students who now who are seniors they are going to teach us and they they are charging 2500 rupees for one year course and it was very cheap okay uh, so they were looking for their possible members in uh, future and that's why they were organizing this workshop and i went back to my room and uh, the, these friends of mine and they were so excited that i left the place and i was feeling happy so they again they treated me with drinks <laughs> <laughs> and chicken and then i then i then i told them about this workshop and uh, 2500 which i didn't have obviously so all of them contributed and organized money for me how much yeah and they made it pos possible that i attend this workshop and 365 days of workshop it was meant to be and i attended 364 days raga i was the only one who attended those many days of workshop one day i uh, one day i skipped because it was such a huge rain that i couldn't reach uh, that day you're a real But student students, sure yeah. real, student. <laughs> real student of life yeah. right so so, so manoj so, yeah. so this question sorry i'm interrupting but this is this brings me to a question which is intricate within that so you know the younger generation right now is struggling as you know so you are giving us you were young at that time very very young now very at least young. you have experience you have knowledge you have life tools to deal with life right, right? at that time you were right. dealing with this so how right. do you how do people what do you say the millennials how do they cope with anxiety and issues that they're going through what would you tell them that one thing because you have experienced it yeah i mean you see um, uh, saying that you should have a belief and conviction is one thing and practicing is another yeah. okay they the, the first and foremost thing that they should do that they should have people around them friends around them who believe in them okay it's very important that you are surrounded with people who you believe and who believe you in yeah. turn okay there is a there is an amazing amount of exchange happening of positivity 
yes. where there is a you know, very pure admiration for each other for each other's uniqueness unique strength and weaknesses okay where we can open our heart out where we can take the criticism and appreciation in equal measurement and not feel demotivated sure okay that is one primary thing secondly use your day use your day i keep telling my students use your day uh, uh, prepare for the opportunity you know they you it, everybody knows everybody is talking about uh, nepotism insider outsider but they uh, forget about all that right now yeah right now right now we can't change the situation so what are we going to do we are going to be skilled we are going to be so skilled and so good at our craft that we get that first opportunity and we crack it yes okay so and that can only be possible if we work on it every day we have ample time you have to understand there is a 16 hours 8 hours you are sleeping correct or 9 hours you are sleeping but you know the 15 hours is quite a lot of time you just give 2 hours on yourself you are sorted for life you are sorted for the opportunity that you you'll be you may be getting in future you know first first assure yourself that you are really good here you are assure yourself the first assurance should come from you first approval should come from you to yourself you know and, and that you, that can sure that sure can only have, yeah so manoj do you also you you said a little earlier that you know when you went through difficult times your right. you know your your, psych, your psychologist friend you spoke about you said that you right. somebody told your friend of yours said to you that you should deal with things like that so do you think that we should tell the future generation or the our generation that if you need help seek help one is your friends one is your support system your own family but maybe sometimes you need more than that so you need to identify that and not feel ashamed of going and seeking professional help right i think that's uh, i mean uh, if you can afford it yeah. definitely uh, but you know in in our time uh, there was not that much of a, of an awareness uh, in lockdown lockdown is telling us uh, because in lockdown what is happening that people are going through anxiety people are going through lot many questions uh they are asking so, so you know they are doubting there is their self doubt uh, there is lot of uh, nervousness coming out of it but at the same time there are few people that i i have witnessed where you know so many people are learning online they are keeping themselves busy they are surrounding themselves with with like minded people they are talking to people uh, so if even if you are not going to a professional uh, you know, professional expert you know the the friends around you are the are the are the are the expert about you correct they are the you know they are the experts about you and you are you are an expert about them you know so you have to understand that this if there is somebody who understand you in this situation more than you is is the person who is living with you correct okay Right. so uh, always talk to that person i am feeling this way i am feeling this way talk talk to him if you are feeling something very funny talk to that person mm. talk to that person you know have a chat about it okay and just talking does 80% of the job raga just talking sure communication is so yeah. key communication is so key yeah. today when we started this conversation manoj one of the things that i said to you and we both agreed that the this conversation is about finding manoj bachpai for us to understand yeah. as an audience because we all know you're you're all you're available online for any any one of us to look up your films your interviews it's all available so audience just be careful this conversation is not about that i don't want to get into yeah. what films what next who is the best director that is not the conversation about so if you are disappointed please i would say that you may need to log off and not be here <laughs> that conversation is not going to happen no matter how many names you call me that's not going to happen okay yeah. <laughs> this is the other side and and manoj i don't know how much time you have we've already gone over an hour but we are just kind of enjoying listening yeah. to you yeah. i just let's go ahead 
Huh? So we, we met, we have a common friend called Apurva Asrani, and right. who you know as well. So Apurva was sharing a story. Him, yeah. Great, because Apurva was yeah. sharing a very interesting story with us, and we know him quite well as well. And he said that many, many years ago, during Satya, which is now a long time ago, that he actually somehow convinced you to go into a gay bar with him. <laughs> so so gay that is a party. Gay party. Gay. So I yeah, want to house know. party. Uh, so I want to know the other side of it. I want to know that one a Bihari boy from Bihar, you know, I know from a small village. So one, how did you feel about that? Then did that play? Uh, sorry, did it also play a, any kind of role? Your friendship with Apurva and of course others along the way in yeah. your performance and creating the character, playing the character in Aligarh. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Apurva. I think now understand that you know I was not as scandalized. Uh, rather, I was much more aware of their world and their you know uh, their perspective because uh, the the mentor of mine, the teacher of mine, is is Barry John. Okay, so uh, he has kind of. He improved this person, Manoj Vajpayee. He improved his per perception about uh, the gay world, about being gay, about many other things. You know, not just that. That's why I say that he's he is uh, he's not only been my teacher in theater, but he has been teacher for life. You know, a teacher in uh, in in dealing with life. Okay, and we are always in touch. It, it was not the the gay party or the, the being in the in in a, a house party uh, where all uh, you know gay friends were there for me what what was what was uh, what apu found, found quite hilarious and uh, scandalizing for me that you know some some of them are finding me uh, you know quite attractive i know that <laughs> i i will but I, 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 so uh, yeah i mean uh, I don't know how to how to uh, you know talk about this, but it was flattering. I mean, I must say this, you know, and uh, uh, they always say that if, if you are you know you are found attractive by gays, that means you are really attractive. So you know, so uh, <laughs> I should know. <laughs> so um, uh, so you know that. Um, and I was going from one place to another and trying to make a drink and trying to find an excuse to just start, you know, uh, run away so, and hide somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. So Apu was finding it quite funny. Uh, and, you know, somehow, you know, I told him that, please, yeah, you know, yeah, just tell them <laughs> that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite straight. <laughs> There's a saying. Yeah, I mean. You know, there's a saying in the gay world that you're as straight as uh, spaghetti until you put put it in hot water. <laughs> I know some 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 gay friend of mine told me in a in a party in Delhi the same saying, and I say you know I I and I I told this friend of mine that this is this spaghetti was always very straight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, spaghetti, yes, spaghetti, very strong. <laughs> Right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, please go on. Now, आप मुझे अभी हिंदी में बोलिए about Aligarh. Like, did ये did that character impact your role in Ali Aligarh? That that kind of you know uh, interactions, let's say, that you've had with Apu and others along the way. Ah, uh, uh, Raga, I you know when when I was preparing for अब जब मैं तैयारी कर रहा था Aligarh का तो मेरे दिम मेरे दिमाग में एक बात बहुत clear थी और वो बात वो क्लैरिटी इसलिए थी क्योंकि मैंने बहुत सारी हॉलीवुड की फिल्में देखी थी अच्छा अबाउट गे अबाउट गेज एंड हाउ दे पोर्ट्रेट गेज एंड आई हैड कंप्लीट डिसग्रीमेंट विद देम यू नो आई हैड कंप्लीट डिसग्रीमेंट इन द मैनर दे द एक्टर्स हैव परफॉर्म यू नो गे का एक्टर्स एंड आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी वेर आई कुड जस्ट गो हैड एंड फोकस ऑन द कैरेक्टर more than the sexuality okay and aligarh script has given me that chance to create a world of professor sirus unki duniya unki kavita unki uh, lata mangeshkar ko lekar ke pyar fascination hmm. unka whiskey unka whiskey ko lekar ke pyar 
और उनका अकेलेपन को लेके प्यार प्रोफेसर सीरस वॉज आई डोंट थिंक ही वॉज अ लोनली मैन ही इंजॉयड बींग लेफ्ट alone alone he in, mm-hmm. he was he was just happy with his whisky with lata mangeshkar with his poetry with his literature he was just happy you know he was a happy man he was living all emotion in that room and didn't want his privacy to be intruded he was very simple and very genuine and very pure person and this that was i you know this is what i concentrated on this is what i focused on uh that is why you don't see any kind of a very accentuated uh you know mannerism i didn't i purposely didn't do it there are there there are, there are very slight hint of it if you want to really find it out yeah there is there it's there but it's not accentuated okay bahut acha hai bahut dikhe to aapne na usko stereotype nahi banaya jo hindi film mein banate hain aur jo bollywood ya hollywood mein banate ek stereotype gay character banate you made him a person person his sexuality yeah. his sexual identity was also there matlab but that was not the main thing the sexual jab hum kisi straight aadmi ki zindagi ke bare mein baat karte hain to kya hum uski sexuality pe baat karte hain हम उसके कैरेक्टर पे उसके वर्ल्ड पे उसके नुआंसिस पे उसके उसके सोशियो पोलिटिकल यू नो इमोशनल स्टेट को देखने की कोशिश करते हैं इन सब चीज़ों पे काम करते हैं तो हम क्यों जब हम गेज की बात करते हैं तो हम उनके मैनरिज्म पे इतना ज़्यादा ध्यान देते हैं और मुझे पता है मुझे पता है कि मेजरली जो बहुत सारे गेज हैं वो इस तरीके से एक्सेंचुएटेड मैनरिज्म नहीं है कुछ लोगों के हैं डेफिनेटली है लेकिन जब उस तरह के रोल करने होंगे तो करेंगे लेकिन हर हर के आदमी उस तरीके से होगा और सिर्फ हम उसी पे ज्यादा फोकस करेंगे दैट आई ऑलवेज डिसएग्रीड विद फैंटास्टिक दैट यू हैव सेड दैट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक समबडी फ्रॉम द यू नो एलजीबीटी कम्युनिटी माय सेल्फ स्टीरियोटाइप तो हमको रोज सहना पड़ता है एंड व्हाट यू हैव सेड इज इट्स नॉर्मल मेन स्ट्रीम है इट्स ऑल द सेम द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट द सेक्सुअल प्रेफरेंस इज डिफरेंट But that's right, not the focus. Right. That's not the focus. Right. Focus, you know, when right. people talk about gay relationships, they talk about sex. They to- don't talk right. about relationships. You know, which is right. what. Right. Right. Aligarh was one of the most powerful LGBT films I've or focused on that that I've ever seen. Right. And Aapki right. character was like just amazing. So, I have a couple more questions. I know I won't take too much of your time. We've already run lots uh, over time. And thank you. audience for staying with us we continuing to get lots of fantastic fantastic comments and some people are not happy one or two which is okay uh, but it's all right it was zaruri hai bahut zaruri hai zaruri hai bahut zaruri hai ha so uh, but i want to know so i'm still coming back to this this person manoj bachpai because every time i watch you on screen i live that person with you So how do you detach from that person and then become Manoj Bajpayee? That is something that I'm still trying to figure. <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I think it's it's the preparation. You know the the intense preparation that I do on uh, all the uh, elements and all the nuances. But now I do it with a with 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 a detached self. Okay, I I I approach them from a distance and. Uh, there is a craft to really help me to get me into it and and then i but on the set i'm 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 walking talking uh i'm a character you know uh, okay. even if i'm jo- even if i'm joking around there is a there is a character in the body you know so uh, it's it's always there that is why i find it quite intrusive if some somebody from outside the set you know comes to meet me i think is just i that world becomes my own the world uh, and that is my character's world that is not not the world of manoj vajpayee so you know when somebody comes to meet me from outside you know it, the the concentration and the that uh, kind of a meditative state is broken you know sure suddenly yeah, and- yeah so it's very yeah so people watching if you are ever trying to reach manoj on his phone without telling him who you are or if you are on his sets and expecting him to give you 100% please listen to this i think that <laughs> respect no zaroor hai ye respect dena jo yeah. aapko chahiye right so yeah. ek question yeah. hai have you ever compromised on the kind of roles you've taken oh yes i have 
not willingly i would say not willingly uh, there are there are few roles that i have done you know couple of roles i have done where i wanted to uh, just go with the friend just go and help them you know in making their films uh, one or two films that i have done where uh, uh, the the going was not that great and i was uh, it was it was a difficult time in terms of uh, 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 roles coming in in terms of choices uh, i had to do those roles because you know somewhere we were completely short of the fund uh, and there was you know there were there were there, there were the bills that ne needed to be yeah. you know settled mm. so yes uh, you know, five six films that i have done uh, but i don't regret it believe me i don't uh, sure. i own i i own my failure completely i'm proud of them i'm proud of those failures i'm proud i'm more than the failures i'm proud of those, those decisions because at that point of time they they somehow you know uh, uh, seemed very right to me sure uh, okay uh, so you can't just if you know if your relationship uh, uh, goes all right you know so you don't start you know don't start saying that you know it was uh, it was a bad choice in terms of the person no it was it was a right choice at that point of time it just that it didn't work out but sure. you learn so much from from that person correct right or wrong you don't know right i read somewhere that right yeah, or wrong yeah. you only know in hindsight you yeah. only know in hindsight, in hindsight. Yeah. Oh, that was not right but it was a good experience yeah. and i I, there's yeah, a thing yeah. that people don't know about you, or maybe some know about you, is that you do a lot of volunteering work, and you have done a lot of work uh, for the underprivileged. It's something that, and I don't like to use the word underprivileged because I think, no, yeah, yeah, huh? But for a lot of work, for people <laughs> who who have needed that support from you, and I don't know okay. whether you're comfortable talking about it because I know you're a very humble man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds flamboyant, uh, but. Uh, uh, when I was doing theatre, it's thanks to Barry, my mentor, my teacher. You know, without whom I wouldn't have been anywhere. Um, I'm always very, very thankful to him. Um, he kind of, you know, exposed me to to that side of uh, Delhi or that side of a society, uh, urban society. And he used to go. Uh, he used to. He was. He used to conduct workshops for. Uh, 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 Mrs. Nair's uh, NGO, Salam Bala Trust. So we started going to, and uh, started working. He, so he was working with the street children. We used to, uh, there was a police station at the at, uh, De New Delhi station, right outside Delhi, Delhi station. And the SHO of the police station, he has given us the roof of the police station to conduct the workshop. So the, the, the children who were working as as coolies, uh, you know, five years old, six years old, eight years old, they used to come for for the classes uh, with the, with Didi and and do uh, theater workshops with us. So I sometimes I used to teach them their subjects and and you know and right after that we used to conduct uh, theater workshops. So I have done it for for many years with him, and he trained me uh, in dealing with children, in conducting workshops with them. It's, you are not. Uh, actually trying to make them an actor but rather you are trying to uh, get them into mainstream you know in you are trying to rehabilitate them you are trying because the, all of them are migratory migratory birds when they leave their yeah. homes they don't they are sure. they don't know where they have more some of them don't know where they have come from they left their homes at the age of three four five they just gotten into the train and they found themselves at this station so mm. they don't know anything better so uh, the 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 organization that Mrs. Nair used to run, uh, they used to help these children to uh, to main to come into the mainstream, do studies, and through theater find their own strength, find some purpose mm -hmm. in life. Okay, and th that was our job. So we used to do it almost every day. I used to then. Uh, 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 and all the mafias uh, of the station or, and outside the station, they, they used to threaten us, they used to bully us. Uh, so we, we used to face them almost every day, the kind of work uh, so many NGOs are doing here. Uh, uh, Chitra, our friend, is so much active there. Yes. Uh, the, on, uh, 
on ground level the kind of problem the uh, a, a work an activist or a voluntary were volunteers face we faced all of that you know and then i started working for a different ngo uh, for pahar ganj basti and uh, every day there used to be so much fight every day there used to be threats and in a hut we are conducting workshops in a hut we are kind of uh, you know taking classes of these children we are talking to the children and the kind of stories the kind of stories the abuse and the harassment oh god i mean for me it just opened the world for me you know for me the world was just not only theater my world was suddenly so vast i was exposed to a world which was completely unknown to most of the people living in delhi most of the people who were you know were halting their cars at the at the you know green, uh, red signal at the crossroads and they didn't know their children they didn't know their mothers they don't didn't know what all they are going through on a daily basis but we knew because those children were attending our workshops they were attending our classes we knew what all they used to go through what how they how they uh, what kind of tricks they were using to beg what 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 what, what is happening with the girl child uh, what kind of harassments and abuses that they are going through on everyday basis so yes uh, raga uh, my life in delhi uh, was on two three levels uh, sure. one was a very serious theater uh, person and the other was uh, somebody who was quite active uh, on ground level working for the street children and uh, platform children and i know there is lots more uh, coming i know that i'm aware of that and we will wait for you to talk about it later but one last question before we let you go two things one question and one little request that i'm getting from so yeah. many of our audience one of course uh, is how does a padma shri feel oh yes uh, how do you feel uh, oh i felt uh, you know i i will not uh, i felt great i i mean no award has given me uh, this much happiness that the padma shri has given it suddenly felt that you know i was wrong that nobody was looking at my contribution i was wrong that you know people were not looking at uh, uh, the 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 effort of being a good citizen apart from being a good actor you know i was wrong that nobody was looking at me nobody was you know from a distance i was wrong that you know i was wrong in thinking that it was it is all going unnoticed and nobody cares with one padma shri honor uh, i is everything seems so so just right you know about my life about okay. the contribution that i i have tried to make uh, uh, i have been trying to make to the society to the to acting as a craft i think i felt very happy i really felt encouraged very happy sitting there taking the honor from the president yes i felt very happy so well deserved and of course all of us are so proud of you and uh, i don't know whether we ever been able to share how proud look at your fan following manoj it's like amazing <laughs> you know uh, friends who are watching i'm sorry that we are not able to respond to each and every one of you there's some amazing comments here i promise you that knowing manoj i know he will go through all your comments and in spirit <laughs> will, thank you mujhe pata hai ki wo aap karoge hamare paas bahut sare log bol rahe hain ki aap hindi mein boliye but i'm sorry this <laughs> this <laughs> हम वो भी बोलेंगे हिंदी में भी बोलेंगे लेकिन मोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्वर्जेशन वाज इन इंग्लिश एंड देयर वाज अ रीजन फॉर इट एंड बिकॉज वी टॉकिंग टू एन इंटरनेशनल ऑडियंस सो जो हम हिंदी भी बोलेंगे लेकिन इंग्लिश में बोलना जरूरी था हमारे लिए क्योंकि काफी लोग बाहर से भी है काफी लोग तो वो जरूरी है उनको भी रिस्पेक्ट देना बिकॉज आई नो आर इंडियंस वी अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश बट आउटसाइडर्स डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी ठीक है so please जी जी. Uh, keep watching please bear with us aapko uh, one last thing koi advice de sakte ho aap and i know i'm repeating myself younger generation ke liye chahe wo acting chahte ho acting karna chahte ho ya chahe to apni life ko jeena chahte hain aur jo bahut you know they find it challenging How, what will you say manoj bajpayee you know main sabse yahi bolta hu ki first you have to think come to terms with one thing world is not fair world is not ready to give you what you deserve so what do you do are you going to sit at home 
and do nothing no you are going to work on yourself be skilled and fight for it fight for what is what is what is what is what you deserve you know don't expect world to give it to you you know work on yourself fight for it keep knocking the door till the door breaks that's the only way you have to you know sometimes sometimes it hurts it will hand will bleed you know but door all doors are weaker than the knocking <laughs> always always <laughs> what a fantastic analogy i'm going to go out and my door now just to knock no but seriously what a fantastic <laughs> analogy and i hope all our audience is listening in and what an inspiring story what an inspiring journey manoj you've had and sh- thank you for sh- sharing so much and leaving a piece of you with us i'm going to take it gratefully and uh, thank, thank you for you, your Daniel. time thank you for the love audience for manoj ji and thank you for the love you've given me uh, and that is a big thing thank you very much i want to thank, thank uh, chitra subramaniam for arranging this for us and she's a dear friend and yeah. uh, such a wonderful supporter for the causes and for uh, you know for everything that we do i have to thank nikola fenton who's the co-director and partner of speaking minds who is right. sitting behind the scene and making sure that this is managed well you can lock down time and technology time so it's like yeah. uh, and, and i'm so bad with it nikola no, was uh, you know struggling with me <laughs> <laughs> no but you're fantastic you're far easier than a lot of people we know and mm-hmm. audience again i cannot thank you enough keep coming back you know where to find me at speaking minds global or at totally out now every question will be responded to i promise you that and we hope you enjoyed this session as much as we did manoj i cannot thank you enough for this absolutely beautiful session i hope the audience no, today no, thank you have seen the other side of manoj bachpai <clears throat> thank you uh, thank you raga thank, thank you nikla and thank you chitra and thank you uh, the audience out there thank you very much uh, keep loving our work keep loving my work keep watching it keep encouraging me thank you for all the love Thank you. Thank you, Manoj. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.